Dolby Atmos is taking the music industry by storm and with Cubase 12 we now have all the tools you need to produce immersive music for Dolby Atmos completely in the box. Let me show you. The first thing I'm going to show you is how easily you can start working with Dolby Atmos even when your starting point is a stereo mix. In this case, I have a stereo mix of a string recording. Let's listen to it in stereo first. Now let me show you how easily I can set up this same mix for mixing for Dolby Atmos. All I need to do is go to Project, select ADM Authoring for Dolby Atmos, and this window will open. Now all we need to do is run the Setup Assistant. And basically Cubase is going to take care of everything for me. It gives me some guidance to begin with, so I know that my buffer size should be 512 samples. So I've set this up. The project sample rate must be set to 48 kilohertz, which is exactly what I have here. And then all I need to do is select some of the options here for the renderer. So I'm going to add a main mix channel with renderer. I'm going to choose 7.1.4 and then I'm going to add a bed channel and I'm going to route all tracks to the bed channel. Now I'm going to hit OK and you will see that Cubase is going to set up everything for me. And there we go. Now we're ready to mix in Dolby Atmos. As you can see, we have our Dolby Atmos renderer right here and we have our beds and here we can start adding our objects. Now, because in this case I'm wearing headphones, I'm going to change my down mix to binaural. And now let's listen to this. You will hear that there's already a big difference compared to the stereo mix. Now, you will also hear that once I hit stop, we hear a little bit of kind of a room sound. This is because now we have the Dolby Atmos renderer on. Now, from here on, we can start planning our mix. We can start adding objects, and this is very easy to do. I can just select the channels that I want to create the objects from. Let's say I'm going to take my violins one, two, the violas, the cello and the bass and I'm going to leave the main pair, the room pair and the spot mics in the main bed. Now what I can do is I can go here to my functions and create objects from selected tracks. And as you can see, Cubase has created these objects for me. Here I also have a full trim and mix down editor, the binaural renderer mode for beds and the object group editor. And as you can see here, I can also select the object group. For example, in this case, I'm going to choose music for all my objects here. And I can also select how each object is going to be mixed for binaural. So I can select from off, near, mid and far. Let's try near first. And now far. And now of course the fun begins when we start mixing all these objects. So as you can see here, where you have the standard panner in Cubase, now we have the VST multi-panner for Dolby Atmos. So as you can see, we have two modes. We have object mode and bed mode. 
and here we can start moving our object around in space. And one thing that I'm pretty sure you will enjoy is if you click this button here and show the extended display. Here we can see exactly where we're going to place our objects in space. Okay, so for example, let's take this cello. I'm going to double click on the panner and now I'm going to start moving it into space. So I can move it to the front or the rear. I can move it left or right, up or down. I can change the object size. So this will basically make the sound bigger or we can make an instrument smaller. We can change the width. So let's play with it a little bit and let's see how it sounds. So it's definitely loads of fun. You can really experiment with different sounds. You can place your instruments into space. And of course, depending on your speaking configurations, the results are going to be way more obvious, especially when you have more speakers. So that you can hear the difference between up and down, front and back and all these things. So again, have a listen to the difference when I'm pushing the instrument to the rear or to the front, up or down. And of course, when I play the entire mix, you will see that right here we have all the objects showing up and we can see when they play. And right here in the render we can have a look at our loudness, especially the integrated loudness, and we can make sure that this is within specification. Now, once we have our mix ready, we can export an ADM file straight in Cubase. So all I need to do is click on export ADM file, and now I can export the ADM file with all the metadata included. So essentially Cubase 12 allows you to author, mix and deliver Dolby Atmos compliant immersive source files and at the same time the final stems in different surround configurations. I hope you have loads of fun mixing in Dolby Atmos with Cubase 12 and before I leave you I'm going to play a song mixed in Dolby Atmos. Enjoy and I'll see you on the next one. Something new I want to try for something new Da -da 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 I wanna try with you Okay Something good I wanna tell you something good Ooh, ooh, oh, oh be with you